Hey, what's up guys? Daniel Jeffries here. Thank you for joining me on another one of my videos. And today, we are going to be making another concept, but this time, unlike my creative characters where I take random words, I am going to be doing a concept off of a sole focus of creating a rock-themed dragon. Therefore, I dub this the first of my Making Monsters videos. Now a few months back when I began this, I made multiple head variations and posted that on Facebook. And what my community came back to me with, uh, votes for whichever one was best, was going to be implemented into the final piece. I was really happy with the amount of participation my community had with this post, and after about a week it was clear that the voting was pointing at number 5 being the most popular head. The most important aspect of this drawing that I was faced with was I wanted it to appear like it was made of rocks, and I, but I also wanted it to seem like it was organic, so I decided very early on that it just was covered in a rock-like armor, and my end goal was that this dragon was going to be gigantic, and while sleeping it was going to look like a mountain. So lately I've been working on multiple projects at the same time, and I had this one kind of off on the side and wasn't trying to rush it, I was really just taking my time and having fun with it, trying to figure out how all the rock formations on it would look. So while creating characters, I always try to think how I would implement them in a video game. And in this case, I would really like to see this as a super boss, an optional one that in order to fight, you would have to actually awaken it, otherwise it wouldn't even care that you were there. A few quick notes about how the dragon is designed. I covered him in rocks, and I imagine those are extremely heavy. So although he has wings, I don't picture this dragon really flying around. They're mostly there for show, as well as to help camouflage into the environment. Underneath the dragon, there are vines and roots. Because he sleeps and basically becomes a part of his surroundings, nature has kind of seeped in and there is evidence of an organic underbody. Which you can see not only in the neck area, but also in the wings. You know, I had a lot of fun doing this dragon. It was a blast. And I'm probably going to do some more in the future, different types of dragons. Let me know what you'd be more interested in uh, for a different elemental type. I'm thinking maybe I'll do an ice dragon or a lightning dragon in the future. Um, unless you can think of another one, let me know which one of those you'd like to see. Or maybe a water dragon or fire. Heck, it doesn't even need to be a dragon. I'm thinking of doing just a series of monsters going forward, as well as my normal videos for creative characters and fan art. Uh, those aren't going away anytime soon, but this will be a fun thing to do on the side. Alright, it looks like the time lapse is wrapping up, and here is the character sheet. You can see the reference to how large the dragon is to the characters that uh, would be of average size in this world. And I want to take this moment to thank everyone who participated in the voting process for which head they liked. It was a much more of a turnout than I thought it would be, and it was great to hear back from you guys. I look forward to hearing back from you guys again in the future. And I hope you like how this dragon turned out. If you liked that video, let me know. Hit that like button, subscribe, you know, the usual YouTube stuff. Check out some of my other videos, and until next time I see ya, I hope you have a good one. This has been Daniel Jeffries. Thanks for watching.